We should be live now. Good evening, folks. Mr. Patriot, you are first to the drop. We're going to be talking about a number of issues tonight. Obviously, Tulsi Gabbard has decided to leave the Democratic Party, probably to the surprise of no one. However, it is worthy of a discussion this evening. Alex J., J standing for Jones. I'll try not to say the words back to back because, unfortunately, TikTok does not like hearing his name. Otherwise, he would have been in the title. So Alex J. ordered to pay in Connecticut court 900, and I believe it was 936 million or 56 million, some insane number that he does not have and those families will not recoup for, for lying about the Sandy Hook issue. So Alex, you know who, has been ordered to pay essentially all the money in the world, which is going to be difficult for that individual because he suggested that he's broke, which is going to be his excuse not to pay the families. However, he is a millionaire, or better yet, was a millionaire. So if he wants to portray himself as a man of no means, he's going to have to look like that. Because you already know when you owe money based on the courts, they can seize, garnish, and take every damn thing. Bank accounts, vehicles, homes, jewelry, etc. So if Mr. Jones wants the public to believe he has no money, I suppose he's going to be driving around in a Ford Fiesta or something of that nature because anything else they can seize. So we'll see what happens with Mr. Jones. But we're going to be talking about Gabbert Jones and, of course, Sean Hannity plays a desperate plea, a voicemail that apparently was leaked, a desperate plea from President Biden to his son suggesting that he get help. And we're going to talk about... Uh, you know, just simply in nature, what is, uh, is it, is it morally crossing the line to play such a tape like that? And by the way, in the, in the comments there, the fee, no bankruptcy will not save him from this. Generally court orders like that. If you lose a judgment, hell, I'm, you know, being from Chicago, I filed bankruptcy, you know, when I was younger and I owed parking tickets. In the city of Chicago, bankruptcy won't even save you from that shit. So if you owe the government, bankruptcy oftentimes, if the government orders you to pay money, which is what's happening here with the courts ordering him to pay these families, yeah, bankruptcy oftentimes will not save you from that. But we're going to start out Got with in touch. Tulsi Gabbard. I want you guys to hear this, and we'll talk about this. I'll go to the box right after. But I want to analyze Tulsi Gabbard on Carlson discussing her departure from the Democratic Party. Thank you so much uh, for coming on. <laughs> that was quite a statement. He's I'm always listening less, and I'm thinking, I, I... You know something? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be interrupted in a couple of times, but I'll tell you, listening to Tucker Carlson, you would assume that there is some little midget under his desk tickling his feet. Every time he has an interview, I've never seen a person laugh in such a giddy way so often. I, you know, we have Republicans on the show from time to time. They don't put it as clearly and bravely as you do. So how do you feel? I mean, you've been in this party a long time. You were its future. You left. I mean, this has got to be kind of a fraught moment for you. And, you know, Tucker, as, all, as, as you know, I've, I've always been an independent minded person, a Democrat. Yes, but an independent Democrat. And my loyalties are very clear. I love our country. And I took an oath both as a service member, as a soldier, as well as as a member of Congress to support and defend the Constitution. What liberal do you hear bragging about taking an oath to defend the country and the Constitution? Liberals are generally proposing amendments and changes to the Constitution all the time. That very phrase Sounds pretty hardcore to the right. Now, I don't have any problem. You know my preferred audience conversationalists are MAGA. But that, the way she just stated that, it sounds like a patriot. It sounds like a right winger talking. Let's keep going. And that's an oath that I take extremely seriously. 
And so when you look at this party, the, the today's Democratic Party, it's controlled by fanatical ideologues who hate freedom. They despise yes. the Constitution. They actively find ways to undermine our God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution, like freedom of speech. If you say something and I say God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution. If I just wrote that on a piece of paper and asked you, who likely gave that quote, a Republican or a liberal? God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution. Just want you to hear what she's saying when she suggests she's leaving the Democratic Party. If you listen to her words closely, she don't sound like she was ever in it. I say something that they don't like instead of saying, you know what, agree to disagree, live and let live in the traditional liberalist kind of way. No, that's not good enough. They will do all that they can to destroy you, silence you, smear you, work with big. Appreciate those glasses. Now, she's suggesting that live and let live. But if you say something the Democrats do not like, they will destroy you and all of this. 